Welcome back to the channel. I'm sure most of you will know by now that we are about to head into another lockdown here in the UK. Carol and I live in Sussex and we are moving from tier two to tier four. Tier four means that uh, only essential travel is permitted and we're certainly not allowed to stay anywhere overnight. We've come to a place called Wakehurst today, which is owned by the National Trust, but managed by the Royal Botanical Gardens. They have a seed bank here. All National Trust properties now have to be booked in advance, which really sort of kills any spontaneity. And it's such a shame, I think, because a lot of people are booking and then not turning up if the weather changes. Most of this place is outdoors, but you do have to put your masks on just to get through the reception area. That's better. Wakehurst is Kew's Wild Botanic Garden, and it's situated in the Weald of Sussex. Christmas tree. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Oh, it must have lights on, I would imagine. They put all these other lights up. Oh, no, up. that's the one with the lights on behind. Yeah. Every Christmas, they hang these paper lanterns in the trees and bushes. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to stay for that. But they do turn them on around about four o'clock, I think, in the afternoon when it's dark. Is anybody else getting fed up of the lockups? I know we are, and they just don't seem to work, do they? We're told we need to lock down in order to stop the virus, but this is our third or fourth lockdown now, and the previous ones don't really seem to have made that much difference. Unless you're a business, of course, and many of those are being decimated. There's a chap pondering the view. I think all of us are lost in our thoughts these times. When we come here, we always seem to walk the same loop. This path leads down to the lake. You can see how those helium filled balloons get trapped in the trees. We've been having plenty of rain, so everything's still muddy and the rivers are full again, which is good to see. I'm expecting there's going to be a huge push to get everyone to take the vaccine. And uh, our politicians are talking about people remaining in tier four until the vaccine has been rolled out. And that could take several months. So we've no real idea of when we're going to be able to travel again. We've never seen a kingfisher here, but I know plenty of people who have. So the car park was pretty full, but uh, there's not many people in the grounds when you actually get inside. Some nice holly. 
Yeah. I love the colour of these leaves when they're on the turn. Everyone we pass is talking about COVID. Surprise, surprise. So many National Trust properties have these wood carvings now. But I must say I haven't noticed this one before. But judging by its condition, it's obviously been here quite some time. Is that your Christmas turkey, Charlie? Yeah. Turkey, it's hiding here. Yeah. <laughs> Getting a bit windier up here now, isn't it? Yeah, we're up to the Himalayas area. Uh -huh. the yeah. <laughs> Early, isn't it? Oh, there's it's a pheasant. Hello, pheasant. Oh, Fezzy. Hello. Hi. So I've got to give some thought now to how I can keep this channel going if we're not allowed to travel. A lot of YouTubers are in the same boat at the moment. nearly at the top of the hill again now back to where the main house is and the ornamental gardens I've no idea what this plant is, but I always like the bright colour it gives off when the sun hits it. Don't like the look of that cloud menacing behind the house. Well, it's time for us to make a move. We're on our way home now, getting ready for the next lockdown. All that remains is for us to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we will be back with more videos whenever we can. Stay safe, all the best. <laughs>